I guarantee you clicked on this video because you want to upgrade your Dell. You clicked on this video, but before I do get started, I do have to give you guys a disclaimer. The only thing that I know about is the Inspiron 3668, which is the desktop that I've been using for maybe five plus years. Cables, the hard drive, the RAM. Uh, I'll be putting a link in the description, so if you guys want to buy your own or whatever it is, then go ahead. I am upgrading the RAM and the SSD, the solid state. For the RAM, I only had one slot. Originally, what I did was I went on my computer, how many rams or how much ram is being used and it only showed me eight so i only had one ram with eight gigabytes from crucial i just ordered online it was probably like two weeks for this ram to come in and also this hard drive this is a two terabyte hard drive the only thing that i messed up on hard drive the ssd does not have any zeta cables or anything to it and my desktop doesn't have any extra cables inside the RAM is very easy to install. You just plug in, plug out. So I'm gonna show you guys exactly what's inside the PC. So first I'm gonna take out these screws to pull out the cover. I don't have the power supply cable with me. So I will just put in the RAM and the data cable, not the power supply. So put it on the edge, pull these off, pull the tabs off, just like that. Uh, what we're gonna be looking at is the RAM, which is over here these two slots so this is the RAM so you have one card in here and another RAM could go in here and the other thing that we're gonna be looking at is the power supply which is behind this cable so you can see that there's a six pin right over here which is where the power supply goes and then the Zeta cable which is over here with the chips are facing forward this way and the soldering side is facing towards the desktop the front so that's the way I'm gonna put it in you just push these tabs out so that way when you plug it in it's gonna snap right onto the RAM so put it in just like that and gently try to push it in so we have it slotted in and pushed down and just like that, you just put in a new RAM. Very easy. When I go on my PC right now, because I have two RAMs at eight gigabytes, there should be 16 gigabytes on the status of the desktop. I'm just gonna put in the SATA cable now with the hard drive and just wait for my power supply to come in. And then, yeah. So there isn't enough space on the SATA 2, so I'm gonna put it on SATA 3 for the cable to be kind of free. Just like that, bang. And then plug it onto the hard drive. So this cable could only go in one spot, which is a short one. So you just plug it in there. Make sure that the SATA cable tooth is right there. You just put it in just like that. And it should snap in. So you just put it on just like that. Like I mentioned before, I don't have the power supply cable, so the SSD is not going to work yet. I do have to wait for that before I do test out the hard drive. Uh, so I will just test out the, I will just test out the RAM to make sure that it does have 16 gigs on the RAM side. Just close this back up, snap it back in. A screen did pop up saying that alert the amount of uh, memory has changed. So I just press continue and see what happens. So let's go here. About your PC. Just like that, you can see that the installed RAM is now 16. Now, the other thing that we have to test out is the CPU or the memory of uh, our desktop. So, performance. Just like some basic stuff just to make sure that it's actually working. So, we finally have the power supply cable which is a 15 pin to six pin cable. So with this, make sure that the tooth of the power supply, so the tooth is over here, make sure you're putting the same side in on the hard drive. So the tooth is facing downward, so it's gonna go in like this. So with the cable sticking downward. And just like that, Everything is plugged in. Put it back in here. And then we're gonna plug it into the power supply. 
The way you're going to plug in the six pin is the tap side. The, one pl the side that's gonna plug in is going to go on the outside. So it's gonna go in like this. So this is going towards the side that is open. As you guys can see, the tab is in. So like I said before, the tab is going towards the screw or towards the opening that you pulled up. And that should be it. And you just put the hard drive back into its spot. Just like that. Now we're gonna find out if the hard drive is working out. We know that the RAM is working that we put in last time. So now we're gonna find out if the hard drive is working right now. So just like for the RAM, we're gonna go into task manager and see if we see the hard drive in performance and there should be one added into it yep and just like that when we go into um disk one it's showing ssd which is exactly what we installed right now zero percent is being used because i'm not using it yet because i don't have anything to download on it but eventually we will be using this and yeah we know that it works and that's it for this video so i hope you guys upgrade your own 3668 and yeah tell me what you guys think of this video leave it in the comments below and that's it for this video i'll see you guys for the next one peace out guys